Alrighty, everyone. Uh, back again, opening up a box of Flesh and Blood Unlimited Print Run. Um, let's get to it. Let's open some. Let's get some legendaries. Open one box and uh, got a couple, couple majestics. I said mythics. Brain told me to scream out mythic there, and I knew that was wrong. Wrong game, Randy. Wrong game. Alrighty. The ever beautifully folded or stacked, I should say. Magic. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. Magic Gathering has you playing as like a planeswalker. Flesh and Blood has you. Uh, I guess the way it was described to me was you're like a uh, competitor in a already one pack, and we got a super rare. Reckless Swing. Is that a good one? Is it? A, is it? Oh, maybe. Might have a little decent bit of value. Nothing terribly special. Drone of Brutality. Foil Drone of Brutality. I'm pretty sure that's a good one. And yeah, those ones are all right on there. You'll notice I'm uh, not going to spend too much time. I'm just going to kind of fly through. I'm doing the most degenerate thing I can think of with uh, Flesh and Blood. Just capitalizing on the popularity and limited print run. We look for good cards. We sell good cards. Will I? Might I get into the game? Possibly. Who knows? I played one game and it was actually really fun. Super fast paced, with that, which I like. If you don't want to sit down and have, and don't want to worry about a two-hour-long game of cards, Flesh and Blood is right up your alley. It is t 10, 15 minute stops, and you're good. Oh my god. Wow. Um. <laughs> okay. That's a card. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. I bought two boxes of... <laughs> uh, if you can't tell, that is, that's a heart of... I, I don't even know how to say it. Fiendal. Fiendal. Uh, <laughs> I bought these bought these two boxes off of eBay. Uh, really good price. I am normally a whore for buying from my LGS. Uh, lucky enough to live in a town that has two game stores. Frequent both more than I really should. Um, <laughs> uh, but bought this online and I was like, this might... Uh, they showed up and they didn't look to be in the best of shape. I just pulled, just pulled a legendary. Think I'm doing good. Think I am doing all right. Granted, it's an unlimited run. It's probably not going to be worth as much as I really would absolutely be crazy for. Probably going to pay for the boxes, though. That's what we like. That's... Woo! All righty. Taking a deep breath. We're going to move that over. We're going to stare at that the entire time. You're going to you're gonna stare down the heart of Fiendal. Fiendal? Fiendal. Sure. That's what we're calling it. That's what we're going with. Thanks for watching. I've Blackout Kick's gorgeous. I just love the way that looks. Absolutely brutal. Everything in this game. Brutal. I think those are all just action cards. Actions and reactions. First few... I don't even, I don't even know. Actions and reactions, and then these are. Are they special? Generic defense, generic attack, generic attack, equipment. One, two, foil, guardian, brute, guardian, ninja, warrior, ninja, warrior. Okay, I think I figured it out. Yeah. Only took me box and five packs. Looks like everything before the rares are generic, everything after are the class-based. Got to have the special care, special character types. Yeah, that's all generics. Drone of Brutality, Energy Potion, Unmovable. Heart of Fiendal is still coursing through my mind because absolutely nutty. Could not ask for something better. I mean, we can get the tunic. 
Getting a tunic would put a smile on my face. Welcome. Uh, not welcome to wrath. TCG player. Yes, it's welcome to wrath. But uh, TCG player says the tunic is. Tunic is sitting at a market price of fifty five thousand two hundred and fifty bucks, but I'm also ninety percent sure that is nowhere near accurate because they don't they their their prices aren't updated very well. I don't know what their algorithm looks at on TCG Player for Flesh and Blood, but it's not like Magic the Gathering where you, where you can pull up a card and be like, yeah, that's the price because TCG Player says it. Um, like supposedly, my best friend here is six hundred, but I'd be willing to bet I just skipped over. Those are those two rares, foil rare, another foil drone in brutality. Um, seems like their prices don't. It takes like the first, like the first few cards that sell. I'm pretty sure if you look up the uh, Library of Solana, the fabled card from Monarch, the newest uh, set, it doesn't reflect that that card has gone down in price. It is still showing it's like a $4,000 card, I believe. I haven't looked it up because didn't pull that one. So, nope, that pack just kind of fell apart. Pack kind of dissolved. Wounding blow, slug, spinal crush. We're gonna, we're gonna. It's a decent card. It's a decent enough card. It's, it's my majestic. Um, before the video's over, I will try and just to give you an idea. Um. Like I said, Heart of Fiendal right now. Looking at TCG Player's price list, uh, Heart of Fiendal, $614.59 market price. I can almost guarantee that it's probably going to be like a $100 card. It, it just, oh my goodness. Foil Majestic. Um, Lord of Wind. Uh, looks pretty nutty, if we're being honest. Just looks great. His eyes... If you look at that, his eyes, his eyes pop, his eyes pop there. Um, Lord of Wind actually doesn't. Is that even? Uh, interesting. I am not seeing Spinal Crush, Crippling Crush, Glint Tome. Oh, there it is. There it is. I see it. Never mind. I'm just blind, people. Just blind. Alrighty, so that's two Majestics. A card that is supposedly so rare. Oh, ooh. Don't want that. What well, you didn't see was me stuff a bunch of commons on my rare pile. Would have been a sad time. Would have been a sad time. Not really looking at those last groups of actions because those are the ones we're concerned about. Nifty, sure, give them that. They're not majestics though. They're not the money cards. They're not the fun cards. They're not the crazy cards that you're not going to see in droves from every single pack. By the end of it, I'll have copies. Copious amounts of every single one. Until then, doesn't really matter. Drone, barrage, pommel. 
cards we don't care about. Dorinthia. Just look at the heart. It's gorgeous. Uh, so my first box was pretty not good. This one, doing a little bit better. Alpha Rampage, another Majestic. Because when you're hot, apparently you're hot. This box is, this box is coming around. I think this, oh, I did the thing. Savage Feast, Warrior's Pledge, an absolutely brutal card, Smash Instinct, just looking at it makes you feel hints of violence, it's great, I love it, you sit there and you go, man, someone was pissed, someone was angry, someone was angry, crazy to think that the Brute would have a card like, it makes you think that. Super rare Pounding Gale. Time Snap Potion. Don't mind me just sorting the stack that I'm going to be trying to uh, build. So, two boxes. Got my Fabled card. Always, always happy about the Fabled. Flick Flack, Snap, Sigil of Solace. Two foil rares in a row. Let's do it. Let's get after it then. Yippee Kai, yeah. Who knows? Maybe I'll be able to. Uh, probably not going to be able to hunt down a uh, first edition Welcome, Welcome to Wrath. Actually, is well. Was Welcome to Ra hey, I think Welcome to Wrath had first edition. We are running out of packs in the box. Can't even be mad. Like I said, I'm, uh, I gotta remember. I gotta remember to look up that uh, Heart of Fiendal. See how off uh, TCG player is. Make TCG player look bad. Because I enjoy doing such things. Cranial Crush, super rare. Sink Below. Bunch of cards. Romping Club and Katsu. Deliverance, Biting Blade. Ooh. Ooh la la. Alrighty. Uh, looks like two more packs. Two more packs. Completely overshot him again. So used to riff, rifling through cards like with the Magic the Gathering pack. You'll find me talking about it quite a bit. All righty. Last pack. I don't think I'm going to get anything better than what I've gotten. Weirdly enough. Absolutely absolutely nuts blackout kick raging onslaught shenanigans already moment of truth part that i'm actually curious about is how good is my heart of fiendal already show wow um okay so not nearly as bad as i thought it was um TCG, their, their, I think it's their median price, they say is $600, but, or listed prices of $600, but um, 
rainbow foil, which anything that's not first edition is a rainbow foil. Rainbow. Look at it. Rainbow foil. Uh, lowest, lowest is uh, three fifty plus dollar plus a dollar for shipping. Uh, obviously, right now, at the time, at the time of recording. Mm, yes. Um, yeah. No, this is nuts. Um, there is one listed at three fifty, one listed at three seventy, and then you're up above four hundred. There's one at four hundred, two at four hundred, and then you immediately go up to like five hundred. Um, yeah. So. This is fun. This is exciting. Things that put a smile on my face. Amazing. I love it. I'm happy. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, and until next time. Thank you.